What's up, y'all? A lot of y'all sent me some articles and asked for my opinion. So this is going to be a request video to give you my opinion on the dude from Hacienda who raped that woman in her, in her coma. And I wanted to wait before I give my opinion on it because I like being informed. I don't really like jumping a gun, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you have to make editorial uh, reposts to correct something that you said earlier. But this dude is a piece of shit. That's my that's my, my opinion on him. Nigga need to be dealt with. In fact, he gonna get dealt with. I think after he make his court appearance, you gonna find his ass dead somewhere. I'm telling you. The same way they dealt with that rapist, the Hollywood child guy. Uh, he had like a like a child pornography ring. He ended up dead. They gonna deal with his ass in prison. They dealt with Jeffrey Dahmer. Every last one of us got at least an aunt, a sister, a female cousin, or some woman in our life that we always use as a frame of reference. When we think of a situation like this where you'll say, well, damn, that could have been my sister. That could have been my aunt, my auntie. That could have been my daughter. And I don't know what the family does for a living, but for their family to afford this much health care for somebody that's been incapacitated for 14 years, they got long money or either the state is funding this. But there's a public outcry, a rightful deserve it public outcry when you take advantage of somebody who can't move and you find that person sexually attractive you got something wrong up here my nigga you fucking you sick anyway I was thinking before I made this video I'm in my yard it's freezing like a motherfucker but for y'all I'm putting in work this um the baby that's the biggest victim I'm sorry to say it that way but this child has to grow up with a, a number of issues issue number one is who the fuck is the state going to give this baby to number two you have a situation where which which side of the family is going to take the child and you can be one of those liberal assholes who say oh something beautiful came out of this a gorgeous baby which the baby probably going to be cute you know for the most part but that, that's not the, the case the, the situation is no child really has any like like responsibility how they got here no child is responsible for how they made it to the planet it's us as adults you know what i'm saying that, that hold that responsibility to bring them up and stuff like that but in, in a situation where the child is a re, is a result of a rape none of us none of, none of us has, has has had to deal with that i got a cousin right now who is the result of a rape and the white family gave gave her to us it was a black dude who raped the girl in georgia and I'm trying to be as big as possible. But we have her now. She's 23. Cute little girl. She biracial, got the fluffy hair and all that shit. But, you know, we don't sit there and tell her, you know, what, what a white, the white family now has finally taught, started talking to her because of Facebook. And they've been, and they kind of, and oh, now that 20, 23 years have passed, a lot of their views on being racist, so to speak, and, you know, it's kind of like, the, and this is Atlanta, you know, an Atlanta, Georgia situation. So, you know, they're they talking to the girl now because not a girl can verbally express herself in a way that make them understand that she just wants to know her side of the family, the mother's side. And, you know, the daddy is, is one of my relatives, put it like that. And she does not blame us who took care of her for what he did to the mother. And that's and I'm hoping that's going to be the same situation with this little baby here. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy yet. So that's all I can say. You know, for the most part, it's just that after the movie Kill Bill, and we all know the scene I'm talking about, is the I'm Buck and I'm here to fuck. I, after that scene, I don't know why those people are not monitored by cameras. The, the people that are incapacitated. Because, you know, you have cases of elder abuse. Um, there's up, umpteenth videos of children in daycare centers getting the shit knocked out of them by daycare workers. So why wouldn't you take the most vulnerable of all of them? Kids are included, but the ones who are in a coma. Because mind you, kids can always go home and say, he, he, him hit me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like kids say. But when you got somebody that's in a coma, especially after the, you know, Kill Bill situation, why wouldn't you have, have vetted out a person who had the care to change the catheter and the colostomy bag or, or the, whatever the situation may be. But this particular guy, looking at his mugshot, this nigga look, he look, throw it off. He looks sick. So I, I can't really go any further, man. There's really no other narrative than the fact that I'm glad that they had the common sense to get a DNA sample of everybody who was there. And more importantly, I like the idea that they're not letting this shit go. They're looking at more cases where this man could have fucked other people or even, you know what I'm saying, I'm checking his record out because I hope this shit goes into a domino effect and let this be a bellwether to people that actually have a, a clinic or 
a, a like not so much as a hospice, but one of these type of places where people like this lady would be held at. And I'm getting more angry, y'all. And plus, it's like 35 degrees out here. I can't, I can't really talk straight. My girl got my damn car. Because I know I usually do my videos sitting in my car with the heater on. Anyway, guys, hit like, share, and subscribe. Get the fuck out of here. Saints done lost some bitch ass. The coaches, man, let us lose on purpose and shit. Because they want us to go to Atlanta, Georgia and show out. And show up. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here.